1968 Beetle is not going into gear. I think I have the incorrect um, clutch cable. Uh, it might be a little too short, so I got the correct one. And I think that should fix it. Here's your fly nut for the, your clutch cable. Um, you wanna take that off. Um, your car might look a little different if you don't have a Subaru engine in it. Um, if you have a Subaru engine, it's probably better to remove all the electrical connectors, so I'll do that now. Get those out of the way. Um, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a crowbar in here and uh, channel locks here and then just try to spin this off. Right, you might or might not have this custom cut out hole when you purchased your beetle. If you do, um, it's worth a lot more. So the reason we removed that nut is so we could uh, remove this up here. Um, it allows us to just unhook it and pull that out. All right, after you manage to get this unhooked, you just wanna pull out. And then that's also hard as hell. Good luck. This looked a lot easier on YouTube. So mine was getting bound up on the clutch cable sleeve back there. After struggling with that, I think I can pull it out. Easy. Once you get that out, you wanna grab your new one and not go to your local uh, Volkswagen shop or buy it online. You probably wanna grease this up before you put it in through that tube. Got some red and tacky here. Just any grease would work, I assume. I'm just gonna start this on, put some grease on my hand and then work it through. This is my first time, so I'm having trouble finding the hole. <laughs> put grease on my hand so as I slide it through, it should pick some up. Now we gotta just hook it onto the clutch pedal. This clutch cable looks a bit longer than my old one already, so it's a good sign. So what you want to do at the pedal is you want to get a tape measure and then measure. It should move about a half inch uh, before you feel any resistance. So that's what I'm doing now. And if you're not there, you can uh, loosen or tighten that uh, wing nut. And have the same problem it's shifting slightly better but I my reverse that's reverse I don't have to push down I've tried everything I guess I can just get used to it I still don't have to push down the reverse lockout is there all the bushings I replaced so I don't know maybe I just get used to it um, next I'm gonna do the Throttle cable, I'm only getting about an inch of uh, travel there, so that's not good. Well, the one that's in there, it's a little bit too thick. I just have one of those cable crimps here. And I have the wrong tool. Great. This is your host, Slugs, with another episode of What Allen Key Could This Possibly Be? Contestant number one, four millimeter. Aha! Uh -huh. This is my throttle cable setup right now with the Subaru. Um, the only reason I'm splicing it down there is because it doesn't have this, this little lead ball up here that fits right in there. So that's why it's being spliced at the bottom. The throttle cable is the same thing as a clutch cable. You wanna grease it up as you push it, just hold it and it should grease itself as you go. And then you wanna put your, put that onto your mechanism here. Right. Here's my new throttle cable here. And uh, this is my 
Subaru linkage. So that's what it looks like right there. I replaced the throttle cable. I wasn't getting enough throw, so I wasn't getting enough gas and pickup. So now it should sound better and function better. It's a little too tight. <laughs> All right, here's take two. Um, I adjusted it a bit. Let's see what happens.